So here we are on the second last part of our journey. The previous one was quite easy as you have figured out. After doing differentiation, integration was just a cup of your tea. And again the binomial theorem, the playing with index, it was again a bit easy. Okay? But in this part, we are going to play with the number of terms. And mind it, it's not that easy while playing with the index. It was just a single formula. But here, I have kept it specially for the end, although most of the students are having problem in this part. And as they say, that was just a trailer, picture abhi baki hai. So you will gonna watch the remaining movie in this part. Let's begin with the part and enjoy the show. Starting with the multinomial theorem here, uh, we are gonna look first that until now we have just discussed the two term expansion. Now multinomial will be referring to more than two terms at a time. As here you can see, the theorem says that the expansion of this kind, okay. Now the limiting case of this was the binomial in which we were saying x1 plus x2 raised to power m, okay. That was the limiting case. Now here if I have an expansion of this kind, how will I solve, okay. So here it will be saying that the total number of terms in the expansion is, now for this a prerequisite will be the knowledge of combination and in specific if I talk it will be about distribution. So here basically what we are doing even in the binomial now going to that thing uh, which I promised you in the beginning that we will be going in more deep about the binomial coefficients. So basically what is happening is that we are distributing this power m over two things, okay. So in that case, what was happening, uh, when I am saying I am distributing the two, uh, the power over two things, the sum of the power was always m. That, that is what, like if I have suppose, uh, maybe five chocolates, okay, and I want to give them to two children. So whatever options I have, those were basically uh, that thing that if I give one to the first child automatically second will be getting four. So that was the logic that we were using in the binomial. Those NCR where we are saying x raised to power, uh, this was n minus r and y. So whatever I am giving to y in this case, the remaining will is automatically going to x. Now in this case, instead of two people, there are n people, okay. So if you have a knowledge of uh, binomial uh, basically distribution the combination part the for this again I will say the prerequisite for this thing to understand will be uh, permutation and combination and in that also uh, permutation and combination and in that specific uh, if you have heard about the beggars dilemma or the distribution when you're distributing n coins among p beggars okay so this same kind of formula is there, okay? So same thing we are doing, okay? So whatever things we are distributing plus among whatever things we are do distributing minus 1c. Now n here is, please note that, that whatever things we are distributing among, that is more important. So that thing we will keep on both sides. The number of things which we are distributing that we will be keeping in the upward side okay so a better way to understand is you can just start uh, thinking of maybe from two only that in when these are the number of terms again these are number of possible cases okay that that we are uh, gonna discuss that uh, what does this represent so what you can do go, go back and see for binomial okay when this is two what 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 this formula will turn into so this will be n so n this will be 2, you are distributing among 2, 2 minus 1, c2 minus 1, which is n plus 1, c1, which is nothing but n plus 1. If you remember for index n for binomial, we had n plus distribution. So basically those were actually the possible cases starting from 0 to n. We are distributing uh, for the first person starting with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then finally we are going for n things, okay? so. You can correlate and I guess if you are not, if you are stuck in this, uh, please first of all pause this right now, continue it later on, first go for this and understand how the distribution is done, okay. 